morning children in this video we are going to understand the learn to write portion of the chapter clever somu in this chapter we have dialogue writing we will first understand what exactly a dialogue is just to give you all an idea i have taken a picture over here of a boy and a girl the girl is saying you look cute today so the girl is saying to the boy you look cute today and the boy replies to the girl by saying thanks so these two are talking to each other when they are talking that means there is a dialogue going on in between them a dialogue can happen between two people or more than two as many people can be involved in a conversation that is called a dialogue when people talk to each other they are engaged in a dialogue here i have taken a sample dialogue this is a dialogue between two friends about emails so two friends sujon and rakib they are talking about email i just want you all to see how a dialogue is written so sujon is the one who speaks first he says what is meant by email then rakib says obviously electronic mail then again sujon says because you know it is obvious otherwise it is not that obvious rakib says okay whatever the case is now here children i just want you all to understand how we write it see first if sujon is speaking we write sujon's name and we give a colon these two dots over here this is called a colon all right and then we we write whatever sujon has just spoken the exact words of the speaker is written remember you have to write the exact words that the speaker has written you cannot make any changes in the words of the speaker after sujon said his portion then rakib says obviously electronic mail now again we have written the name of the second speaker we have given a colon and then we write what exactly rakib has spoken again the exact words of rakib has been written over here see that is how the whole dialogue goes on one after the other we just keep writing the name and we write the portion that they have spoken this is just a sample now we'll come to the main part i've taken this from the book this is the question in your broadway book let's see what it says work in groups to create a dialogue first choose any part of the story the last part of the story where somu meets the headman will suit the purpose well after you write the dialogue you can enact it now children this is a group activity if school was open at this time we would have had fun doing this activity in the class but since we all know that lockdown is going on and it is not possible for us to go to school we are going to do this at home we are going to do this individually hopefully when school opens we are going to enact it we will do a role play of this but for now children do your work individually on your own and write this dialogue here i have given you a sample i've just given you a guide of how to write the dialogue see now over here it says that you can choose any part of the story then it says the last part of the story so the last part where muthu's parents and somu they go to the headman for the final verdict that part is the best for this kind of a dialogue writing and i have also taken that part i have taken the last part of the story you all can choose some other part if you want and write it on your own but this is just a dialogue if you want to stick to this you can stick to this as well let's see what i've written i've written somu took his position outside his father's shop after hiding the jewels so which situation i've taken the situation there somu had hidden the the packet of jewels in the bag of rice and then he came outside the shop again to catch the stones that muthu was throwing so the situation has to be written in a bracket first i've given an introduction i have written about the situation so you put the situation first then we start with the main dialogue see the first character i've taken in my conversation is muthu's mother so just after somu took the packet of jewelry and put it in the rice bag Muthu's mother came to him and said what let's read what she said she said return the packet my son just true see i have written the exact words that muthu's mother had spoken after this somu says what packet i only catch the stones your son throws in fact i have hundreds of them 
perhaps you would like to take some of those back so now somu who was trying to act smart he said that no i don't have any packet i just catch stones and i can only return you those stones then after this what does muthu's mother say she says my son threw my jewels out return them or i'll go to the headman now see a conversation a dialogue is happening between the two first muthu's mother spoke then somu and then again muthu's mother somu says please go to the headman in fact i will accompany you then what happens they went to the headman the headman listened to muthu's parents and somu and understood what the clever boy had done now again i have given in between the situation what happened after muthu's mother and somu spoke outside the shop they went to the headman three of them muthu's parents and somu three of them they went to the headman over there somu says to the headman the headman is a very fair judge he cannot give us a different verdict this time what he said earlier still holds true that this is the act of a mad boy and must be ignored and muthu must be forgiven then the headman says suppose son did not throw any of the stones back at your son no he is speaking to muthu's parents and you did not complain about that so if your son threw a packet then the packet and its contents should be his too and in future curb your son's actions you didn't object to his throwing stones how can you object to his throwing other objects this is where the dialogue ends so i have taken a very small portion from the end of the chapter from the part where the chapter ends i have put it into a dialogue you can do it similarly or if you want to pick up some other part of the story and do it you can do that as well remember because of the lockdown we are not doing it as a group activity instead we are doing it as an individual activity children you have to write down this dialogue in your english one notebook be very careful don't write this in your broadway book i know that space has been provided over there but you will not write it over there you are going to do this work in your english one notebook in the same way that i have done over here thank you